So now the question is, we are a statistician, we are analyzing data. What is the target sample size? How many data must be included in our sample size so we can form a confidence interval? First of all, we need some basic information. If you have C confidence level and a margin of error E, then the minimum sample size N needed to estimate the population mean mu is given by the following formula. N is equal to ZC sigma divided by E. After forming that fraction, you need to raise it to the second power. So to find the minimum sample size, we need the critical value, Z sub C. We need sigma, which is population standard deviation. And we also need E, which is the margin of error. When sigma is not given to you, you can use S. S is the sample standard deviation. So let us take a look at the example. Given a C confidence level and a margin of error E, the minimum sample size follow this important formula. In the example that we did, the econ researcher wants to estimate the mean number of hours worked by all grocery store employees in the county. In the very first example, we saw that that person asked 40 people, but is that enough? How many employees must be included in the sample to be 95% confident that the sample mean is in between 1.5 hours of population mean. All right. So here we have some specific condition. We want to know what is the minimum number of people that needs to be included in our sample that give us this specific information. The margin of error is 1.5 hours. So when it says, the sample mean is within 1.5 hours of population mean. This 1.5 hours is basically your margin of error is the distance that you need. And as usual, we're going to follow formula. In statistics, it's super important to remember which formula to use. What is the definition of each specific number that we are using in our example and in the question. Take a moment, think about this question. What is ZC? What is sigma? And what is E? How do we use the information given here and calculate the minimum sample size? So C is 95%. ZC is 1.96. Remember that from the example, sigma is given to us as 7.9 hours. And E, the margin of error, is 1.5 because of this description. So we're going to plug everything into the formula here, ZC, 1.96, multiplied by sigma, 7.9, divided by E, which is 1.5. Raised to the second power, it's approximately 106.56. But what's the meaning of that? It means that we need to ask at least 107 grocery store employees. So our information must be included of the data of 107 grocery store employees. So we get the mean within 1.5 hours of the population mean. The researcher already had 40 employees, remember in the very first example. And then the sample needs 67 more members. Otherwise, the information that you calculate is not accurate. 